Okay, so this is tic-tac-toe. Here's what we're gonna make. Um, here's a tic-tac-toe board. And when you won, then you have that button to click new game. Okay, and when there's a draw, um, same thing. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. Uh, first things first, um, I'm using Bootstrap. So to get that set up, you would say npm install bootstrap jQuery popper. Okay, so after that finishes installing, after you run that, you're going to come over to your Angular JSON file and you're gonna to go to your styles and you're gonna add this under the styles. This is the path to the location in your node modules where the bootstrap CSS is. And that's for the build section here for the browser. There's also another section for the styles. I mean, sorry, for the, um, for the tests. You could add that to your test section too, if you want. Um, and um, after you do that, you wanna switch back to where you're, um, you have your transpiler or your compiler running, and you need to stop it <clears throat> and start back up because we changed the Angular JSON file. Okay, so some other things you need to do is you need to create ng generate component cell. You need to create one of those, and then after that's done, you need to do the same thing for the board. Okay, let's look at the cell. So in the cell. Um, we're going to add this CSS here. Um, we have the cell CSS, the way the cell looks, the CSS for when you hover over the cell, um, the vertical line, which is um, to the right of the cell here, this border, and then the horizontal line, which is the bottom here. Okay. All right, so now the HTML um, cell that we made, this is Bootstrap. To align it and then we have a conditional class that says that if the column if the column of this cell is not equal to two then use the vertical line if the row is not equal to two then use the horizontal line that's going to do this because you know we see we have border right but this cell over here we don't want a border right on that one so we need to know we need to know the columns Okay, so, and then we um, display the actual piece. So the piece is going to be an enum, and um, we have an empty piece, and we have our X and our O. Okay, so now the code for this, we need three inputs. One's the cell, which is the, which is the piece, sorry, one's the piece, one's the row, and one's the column. And let's flip over to our board now. So our board, we're gonna make a CSS for our board. CSS for the status message, that's this message right here to say whose turn it is. And CSS, uh, we're just gonna call it uh, new, new game, uh, which is uh, this, this area right here. This is our, our uh, board component right here. So it's supposed to find the width. Okay, so then our HTML. Uh, we're using the class test that we made. A text center P4 for um, padding from Bootstrap. Status message. Now we have our. Uh, this is our. This is our our, our uh, board here that we have. And um, <clears throat> so let me format that. And, okay, so for our board, well, we have um, the row. We're going to repeat for the row. And then for our cell, we're going to repeat for our column. Okay, so this is our, let me format this a little bit better. This is our board here, so that finishes our board. And then we're going to have a space, padding of two, and then our button. Okay, and so when you click on the new game button, it's going to call the new game. It's going to call the new game method, and this button's only going to display if the game is over. That's a variable. Uh, when you click on a cell, we're going to call the move method. Let's look at the code. 
Um, current player, our board, game over, our status message. When in ng on it, in it, we're gonna call the new game. So the new game method initializes the board. We create a two-dimensional array of empty cells. The current player is gonna be X, starting out with the game over and then the status message as to whose turn it is. All right, so we have a getter for our, um, for the is, is game over, which is our game over method. That just returns the is game over. Now move, move, all right. So we pass in the row in the column. If the game is not over and the board piece that we're trying to move to is empty, then we can go ahead and do a move. So the current player's piece is going to go into that location on the board. We're going to check to see if it's a draw. If it is a draw, we print out it's a draw and the game's over. If it's not a draw, then we check to see if it's a win. And if it is a win, we print out that they won and the game's over. If neither of those are true, then we um, change the player's turn. So we check to see if the player is X. If it is, then it's O's turn. Otherwise, it's X turn. It's draw. We go through the whole board, see if there's any empty cells. If it is, then it's not a draw, return false. Otherwise, all the pieces are filled. Let's check to see if it's a win, because it can only be a win if all the pieces are filled and there is no win. Okay, because the last piece that you place could be the winning piece that wouldn't be a draw. So we gotta check to see if there's a win. Okay, so the win. This is the vertical direction. Sorry, this is the horizontal direction. This is the vertical direction. This is the diagonal direction. I have you take a look at that. I'm using the upper right hand corner piece to check against um, the rest of the columns. Doing that here with this one, that one. And then this is um, or sorry, it said left hand corner, upper left hand corner for these ones, and then upper right hand corner to check against with those ones. Okay, so next is the app um, HTML. So we create our message up top, and we create, we put the board component in here. We, we have some CSS here. All right, and this is our CSS. Okay, so I'm trying to keep this video very short, not to teach anything, just to actually show the code. Um, so you can dive in and use it. And for, for teaching and coding together, it take about about a half an hour. So this video is for the under 10 minute. So we're about, um, we're nicely, we've nicely met under 10 minutes. All right, have a, have a nice day.